Okay, let's talk rap battles. Now, Dish Nation was at Ether, which was this big rap battle that was between Cassidy and Disaster. It was a pay-per-view event. Everybody was super excited about it, and it brought out a whole bunch of, like, you know, of who's who in the battle rap community. Now, on the red carpet, we asked battle rappers about the Azalea Banks and Iggy Azalea Twitter battle that broke out last week, and this is what some of them had to say. Know, have you heard of this Iggy Azalea, Azalea Banks feud? Oh, well, I mean, just, just off rip, I think Iggy Azalea is, um... She's, she's like a she's like a carbon copy. Like uh, Azalea Banks is is very original. You know, Iggy is is I think I would respect her more if she reflected more of her culture from Australia, rather and blended it with the culture of hip hop of New York and LA and the South as well. If they were battling each other, just between us, who do you think would win that? Own it. Tough questions today. All right. So Iggy Azalea got the delivery, but I think Azalea Banks got the creativity and the bars. So I think, I think Iggy would hold her own and people would be like, mm, mm, that girl from Australia got bars, mate. Um, depending on who's writing for Iggy, Azalea, you know, Iggy may win, I don't know. I think uh, Azalea Banks, she really goes outside the box to try to express herself. So she would win creatively to me, but on some industry standard. Yeah, Iggy would probably win with the right writing team behind her. You know, no offense. Now, rap battles are like the cornerstone of hip hop culture. Like, before you right. can get into the game as an MC, mm -hmm. you have to, like, you know, prove yourself in the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Now, it would be, I mean, not no shade or anything. It would be like no contest if I battle any of you guys because you guys don't rap. But what would happen if Portia battled Gary with the T? Ooh, that would be Who you got, rap? Portia's quick with her words and thinking. Mm. I might have to ride with Portia on a straight battle, because when you freestyle, you're coming off the top of the head. I don't have Gary with the T beating Portia, but Gary, if you can morph into Gary with the beer, <laughs> I got you. Oh, yeah. So can, 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 we, can we get something oh, going? Yeah. Yo, Roxy, hit a beatbox. <laughs> she like uh, that. Time's out, time's out, Roxy. <sighs> you have a microphone. But yet you you grab a fake microphone, <laughs> which is actually a bobblehead figurine of Clyde Drexler. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like and something it's shaking. else. Just use the regular mic. You I right, Rock T, you got the beatbox. Let's go. Take it again. Go. I'm coming for you. I'm coming real hard because I don't care. Because I'm real smart. You know what, Gary? You know what, Gary? You kind of hairy. You need to share it. You know what, Gary? You what you do on the weekend? the street. I say, bitch, watch my damn feet. And you said, hey, you know. I said, Portia, you ain't nothing but a hoe. And she said, hey, girl, I love you. I said, Portia, but baby, I don't care for you. She said, baby, come to me. I say, baby, I'ma see you in the tree. What? What? Gary, what? Jess? Yo, that was crazy. Too close to call. Who do you think won? Hit us up on Twitter with hashtag Dish Nation. Like what you saw? Was you feeling the vibe? Click on that box on the low and subscribe.